So, what's going on viewers? Today, I pulled out my anterior electric bike. Excuse me. Today, I pulled out my anterior electric bike, as well as my Swagtron um, electric uh, single solo wheel. This one actually has two wheels on the bottom of it. And I wanted to do this video mainly to, I guess, give an overview, six month overview of my experiences with this bike and kind of compare them to my experiences with this e-wheel. I'm kind of embarrassed that I've never done a review for this e-wheel and I guess today we can kind of do a little bit of both. Uh, not two birds out with one stall, right? A lot of you have probably never seen this. So I guess the first thing that I want to say about this bike is it's absolutely great. You know, it does everything that I was wishing that it would do. Uh, you know, it has the kickstand, has a headlight, the basket's great. My accessory for my cell phone kind of sucks, it's broken. They used to be like a little resistant thing here. I'm not trying to use it. It's broken. There's so many of them that I found that are better. I wish I would have ordered a better one. Uh, this like, bike lock works great. A little bit short. Kind of wish I would have gotten a longer one. Uh, but for the most part, this is exactly what I needed it to be. Now, one thing that I will say about this bike that I don't exactly like uh, is... Actually, there's two things that I don't really like about this bike. One of them is... The application that comes with this bike, I don't really use it all that often because it's kind of a terrible experience to use and I haven't quite figured out what's the point of using it. Supposedly you need it to make the bike go faster and I don't know if I've done that or not. I think it's faster than it was the first day that I used it, but it still doesn't seem like it's all that fast. And number two, the thing that I don't like about this bike, the second thing that I don't like about this bike is how terrible it is at going up hills. And the reason why I say that it's terrible at going up hills is because of this guy. I rode this for about a year, and um, this thing never had any problems going up hill. You know what I mean? And it, it's about the same speed as this bike, and they cost about the same amount of money. So why is it that this thing has more features, such as like Bluetooth audio and tracking and mapping capabilities? And the app is terrible on this thing, but it works better. But this thing doesn't. Like you can lock this thing with the app, you know what I mean? You can't really do too many features and that's the one thing that kind of throws me off about it. I think if I never owned this, I would probably say that this is just five stars and perfect, but because I have other things at the same price, it's hard for me to want to give this a five star rating. I would give this thing right here a five star rating before I would give this a five star rating, even though I love this, right? It gets me to point A to point B and uh, I lock it up and every time I ride this and I pull up, I think about, number one, how much money I'm saving on parking alone. Number two, how much money I'm saving on gas, right? And uh, also, living downtown, you end up saving on time. I had a meeting with one of my clients, actually, this one right here. I haven't had too much going on with this during COVID where I really needed this so bad. But uh, having a new bike, same thing, right? I was taking this downtown to meet up with a client down at the uh, mall at one of these uh, little cafes at, at the mall rooftop, something like that. And uh, she seen me passing her on this, on my way to the mall. She was about, she was earlier than I was, but because there was so much traffic, I ended up passing her, getting there. And even after I passed her, I went straight into the mall, went straight up into the building and where we were supposed to meet. And I was there 15 minutes before her because she still needed to find parking and get into the building and get up. So uh, I think that these are both great choices I would, uh, you know, even though I'm saying I want to give this thing a four stars, it's, it's, uh, it's really hard to give this thing a four stars. And it's only in comparison to other things that I have that are, um, I guess, electronic modes of transportation. I wouldn't call them EVs, obviously. Uh, this thing's a solar wheel, whatever you want to call them. What is it, DYU? Um, I think of them as eco and cheap, friendly ways of getting around downtown really quickly without having to pull out my car every time, burn up gas, and park. I can take this thing to the grocery store. There's a basket, this basket is great. It's a little bit loose and it came with these string, these uh, screws that you're supposed to tighten this in with and it was a stupid design because then you can't take the basket off. And then when it's on here, it just kind of swings freely. Oh, one other thing that I didn't really care for this bike is too, I got it by a brand that was off-branded by Xiaofu and they charged me an extra like 30 or $40 for the bike plus um, more shipping than the original brand did. And this brake here is down when it should be up. It doesn't really stop too much. Just a weird way of holding it and I can loosen it. Hey, let's just see if this thing works, man. I haven't used this thing in a long time. Let me just show you the little compress of this thing, man. So I push this bad boy down. You can just turn it on and it stands right up. Yeah, it's probably dead. I have to try it 
charge it up. But yeah, you should be turning on this. Hello? Oh, there it goes. Ah, see? Yeah. Stand by. Uh, let's see if we can get a real one going. Okay, I think I can stand it up. See how it's walking right now? Turn it up a little bit. It stands up on its own as balance. That is some dope. This, the problem with it is I have a flat tire right now. You press this button and it loosens up. You let it go. And it's balancing on its own. It has its feet. And, okay, so the reason why I haven't been using it is the tires went flat and it's a pain to replace or fill them back up with air. Whew, it's been so long since I've stood on this thing. It's been years since I've stood on this. Look at this. Flat tires and all. Flat, oh, this is very bad. I probably should do that. I will say that this thing's a little bit more fun to ride on average than that thing is, And I think the battery lasts longer on this thing too than it does on that one. It's a little more stable. I think on any given day, I probably would choose this to ride over that. But only because the hills, like this thing is, that thing that's right here is a monster. It powers up the hills. You know, it burns up that, it powers up the hills. This thing, you're like zigzagging all the way up the hill and kicking and it's kind of embarrassing. And, you know, the brakes are a little bit weird. It's, you know, I feel like they could have done better. I think if this guy's made a bike, oh, they did. I'm pretty sure they did. I'm curious. You know, I'm thinking about buying a new e-bike. And I'm really looking at buying one of theirs. But Swagtron's bikes are a little more expensive. And I wonder if there's a reason why, you know? I almost want to buy both. Maybe there'll be another uh, review video coming soon.